So the science gurus have changed their minds once again. And what am I referring to? Um, I'm referring to the studies that have been done over the last 15, 20 years in relation to static stretching. Now, if you've kept up with any of these studies, you'll know that the recommendations for the last 15 to 20 years is that static stretching should be avoided. Static stretching is bad. Static stretches cause injuries. You shouldn't do static stretching as part of a warm-up. All of these things that I've been against for the last 20 years, now the scientists have come out and said, oh, hang on, we were wrong. Static stretching isn't as bad as we thought it was. So, recently, uh, in March, a new study came out. Actually, it wasn't a new study. It was a review of existing studies. And it came up with the conclusion, I'll actually read it, read it straight from the study here. I've got the study here and I'll actually give you a link uh, down below to the study if you want to read it, uh, read it yourself. But what was the conclusion of this new study or new review? Uh, the conclusions of the systematic review contradict common recommendations from the last 15 years and highlights several misconceptions and limitations in the literature. Wow, gee whiz, something I've been saying for the last 20 years and the scientists have just got around to it. So anyway, this new study or this new review, it's gone back over the last 15, 20 years. It's had a look at all the research that's been done and it's reviewed the research and come up with new findings. So they haven't discovered anything new. They haven't come up with a new way of doing things, all they've done is gone back and had a look at the old studies and they've concluded the opposite of what the studies concluded over the last 15 or 20 years. So in effect what they're saying now is that static stretching isn't as bad as we thought it was, it isn't as bad as we've been telling everyone it is, so all those recommendations that we've made over the last 15 or 20 years as far as avoiding static stretching or not doing static stretching we've actually changed our mind now and static stretching is is okay to do so it's funny they came up with a new uh, a new um, program for using stretching as part of their warm-up now in the past uh, the scientists have told everyone that static stretching should be avoided during the warm-up, which is contradictory to what I recommend and have been recommending since uh, about 1995 when I published my first book. And I was actually using it for at least five or six years before that, before I even published anything. So <clears throat> what's happened is my, my recommendation as far as using static stretching in the warm-up is static stretching should be used early in the warm-up and should always be followed by either uh, sports specific drills or dynamic warm-up and, and, and or dynamic stretching and that sort of stuff. So now the scientists are telling us that uh, you should do uh, a general warm-up first, then some static stretching, then do some like sports specific drills and more agility stuff and then follow it up with some dynamic stretching, which is actually the exact thing I've been recommending for the last 20 years. In fact, their, their, their warm-up that they recommend as part of their new research findings, I could almost sue them for plagiarism because it's almost word for word what I've been recommending for all this time. So, ah, what am I saying? I'm saying you can't always trust the literature that's out there and although in the past I've been very diplomatic, uh, I've been very polite as far as this research or the, the research over the last 20 years has been con concerned, um, I haven't really criticised anyone, I, haven't, I certainly haven't abused anyone, um, which is contrary to what I've copped over the last 20 years. I can't tell you how many emails I've received from people who have told me I'm an idiot, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about, uh, emails that say, haven't you read the latest research? 
the research says you shouldn't do static stretching. Um, you know, I've copped emails from people calling me all sorts of names and uh, telling me that I don't know anything about stretching and all this sort of stuff. Um, so it, it's, you know, and, and, and in, in the past I've just copped it on the chin and haven't said anything. But you know what? These guys are absolute morons who sit behind a desk all day and have no practical experience or no practical knowledge of how to use stretching. You've got these Muppets who, who the only experience or the only, the only work they actually do with athletes is when they step out from behind their desk. Maybe they go stand on the side of a football field for half an hour with a stopwatch and a clipboard, taking notes, and then they rush back to their computers and play with pie graphs and charts and all sorts of other rubbish um, and you know what these people are actually harming uh, the advancement of sport and and I'm all I'm all for good scientific research but the problem is is that there's so many people out there doing this research you know just for grants basically that's that's all they're interested in is getting their their next lot of grant money doing these ridiculous studies that, that prove these studies actually advertise the stupidity of the people doing the studies. Because if they actually had any knowledge of, of what they were doing, they wouldn't be doing these studies to start with. So in the past I've been very, I've taken a back foot to speaking out against these studies, but the damage that these studies have done over the last 20 years, 20 years these scientists have been telling people to avoid static stretching and that it's bad for you. 20 years they've been telling people this stuff and now all of a sudden they come out and say, oh, sorry, we got it wrong. Hope we, didn't, hope we didn't hurt anybody. Well, for 20 years you've been mucking people around. So I am speaking out against these so-called scientists now. Most of you should go get a job at McDonald's because you really don't know what you're doing as far as scientific research is concerned. So anyway, I've had my little rant. I'll, uh, I'll leave some links down below to the study if you'd like to read it yourself. Um, I've spoken on this topic before um, quite a number of times and I'll also leave some links below uh, to, pr to, to some of my previous videos if you'd like to have a look at um, uh, you know, one of the one of the videos I did was about why I believe the research is flawed, and uh, you know I point out a couple of the 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 protocols in the research that um, that 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 make it flawed. So I'll leave some links to that as well. So anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed my little rant. I don't usually get too emotional on my videos, um, so. Uh, I thought I'd, I'd, I'd let loose a little bit this time and, um, and, and just tell people uh, how I really think. So anyway, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.